Okay. What's up, y'all? Hey, get close to man. These motherfuckers probably can't even hear. Check this out. Cook with D up in this motherfucker. Ghetto boy, man. The real ghetto boy, man. We gon' you know, keep it real hood for y'all, motherfuckers. Today, let me show y'all what I'm doing. I'm making garlic bread. I'm gonna show y'all motherfuckers how to make garlic bread at home. Now, today I'm gonna use a, uh, a motherfucking pizza dough, like I showed y'all yesterday. But you can use a, one of those pizza doughs that you buy at the store or a motherfucking um, loaf of French bread. But I'm gonna show you the right way to do it and get the best taste of garlic, the best flavor from this garlic, man. Let me show you something. Look. Oh, man. Same thing, I gotta do this because it's the pizza dough. But if you at home, you know, like I said, the garlic bread, you know, really can only consist of any type of bread you want. Most of motherfuckers like the French bread though, that's the best. Alright, but it's gonna be real good, nice and simple. Man, bring that motherfucker over here, man. Got my nigga Will on the camera. What's up with it, Big Willie? Nothing much. Another day in paradise. You feel me? Oh, yeah, all day. Now, let me show y'all the key ingredient to this shit. This is, uh, I minced up some garlic. For y'all them motherfuckers don't know what minced up means, it's a finer cut than chopped. You feel me? So, and I soaked it in some olive oil. You feel me? So, all I'm gonna do is just take my motherfucking brush and brush this guy that I mean over top of this mother and have that if you got that I did me. You feel me? Boom. Oh. But there's already the oil and the garlic, the flavor is already there too, and it's strong too. You feel me? But you want to cut, cut, cut that whole motherfucker up in this, uh, you feel me? Get close, man. Let them motherfuckers see that shit. You feel me? Is the light good on that shit, man? Right? Yeah, yeah, yep. Alright, look, boom. Now that it's all covered, don't go nowhere. Hold on. I gotta stop the time, hold on. Boom. I'm going to show you the key ingredient to this shit. All right, boom. You see that? We got that covered. Nice with the garlic oil. That's garlic oil right there, baby. Key ingredient. What's that right there, Big Willie? That's the salt. Motherfucking salt. That's the key ingredient because it's going to bring out the... You, but you got to lightly... You got what I mean. You feel me? Lightly put that shit on there, though. You know what I'm talking about? Boom. And then, what else I'm going to do is I'm going to take... I'm going to take some... Some mozzarella cheese though, you feel me? Because we making uh, garlic bread. But you you want some cheese on your shit too, some cheesy garlic bread. Oh, yeah. You don't have to have that much on that motherfucker though. You feel me, Big Will? Yeah. And I'm telling you, hey Will, you make this, hey, you make this for your girl, man, hey, don't let none of her friends eat this shit. <laughs> you know what I mean? They gonna be wanting to try to, you know what I mean? Hey Will, can you make the can you make that motherfucking garlic bread that you made one time? Alright, boom. I'm gonna show y'all another key ingredient too. Watch this. This is gonna bring out the tangy and the zest of that shit. A little bit of cheddar cheese, you feel me? Extra sharp cheddar cheese, a little bit, you feel me? A little bit go a long way in this motherfucker. You know what I mean? Alright, boom. You know what I mean? Fuck it, we gonna add it. We gonna, we gonna get this bitch real nice and cheesy around this motherfucker. You feel me? Boom. Another thing I'm gonna add. Got these two things over here. Fresh chopped herbs, oregano, parsley, and thyme. Don't be fucking cheap and buy the dry shit. Go buy the fresh <laughs> shit. You know what I mean? You sprinkle the herbs on there like that. You know what I mean? Get that all the way around. Like, like remember what I said. This shit is not fucking hard. You can do this shit at the fucking house. It's not hard at all. Bring it out with a little spice. I'm gonna add some crushed up chili peppers to this motherfucker. Not too much though. A lot of people don't like spiciness, but hey, you know what I mean? You don't have to have them or not. I just like it on that. Okay, look. Give it a little shake, you feel me? Let's go ahead in the bottom of it this time. Remember, this oven is 550 degrees with the pizza brick. But at your house, you can just put it under the broiler. Just turn it all the way up and set it, but watch it because it'll burn. Now, when I come back, I'm about to show y'all the finished product of this shit, you feel me? Um, stay tuned for this motherfucker. I'll be back in a minute, though. A couple minutes. That's all this shit gonna take, though. Peace. I'm back. Now, watch this. This is, this is the finished product of the shit I was telling y'all motherfuckers about. You know what I'm talking about? 
This is that cheesy garlic bread right here, though, you feel me? And if you do that, just like how I told you, that shit gonna come out looking like that every motherfucking time. And it's gonna be good, too. Like I said, you don't, you don't have to have a piece of crust, but it's gonna taste real good regardless on what. Boom. And what we gonna do? Probably they got so good, make you wanna slap your mom. <laughs> See, yeah, you know what I'm talking about? Real look. We gonna do this like this. Boom. Boom. Like that. Take that motherfucker. You feel me? And just like so. Boom. Boom. Like that. Get you some. Get you some French bread at Kroger's. I'm telling you, man. You girl gonna be real happy. She gonna be with real satisfied with this shit right here. This concludes the tutorial, man. Remember everything I said. Fair motherfucker, tip and shit at the end of the day. Remember this shit right here. Fair motherfucker, tip and shit. 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 Fair motherfucker, tip and sh